morning 33 degrees out and it is i think 8 30 8 49 but it's beautiful out <clears throat> Sun's coming up. Doesn't feel 33 degrees. Water dripping off the roof. So, <clears throat> last night, again, while I couldn't sleep, I threw a little bit of mud on the corner beads here. Got them up. Uh, so I gotta hit this real quick. Throw another coat or two on there. On both sides <clears throat> and that is how much I am short <laughs> oh I got a piece right there I can use sweet all right so hopefully well we ain't gonna finish the bathroom today but because <clears throat> this is gonna take a little bit to do a couple coats I'm gonna red guard this well blue guard it <laughs> fill all that in I think I'm gonna get a fire in the wood stove had one in there last night still very comfortable in here but I think I'm gonna fire it up because tonight I think it's supposed to be the same way let me see uh, where is it <clears throat> forecast come on wake up wake up wake up Okay. Ooh, gonna be 29 tonight with a high of 53. And that goes right back up into the 60s. <laughs> Crazy weather. All right, so let me see if I can stoke this fire up a little bit and keep it kind of warm in here. I mean, it's, actually, maybe I won't because it, it's warm now. So got that to do and then I think I'm gonna clean up a little bit I got some mess in the bedroom I want to clean up a little bit of mess up here not much but my jacket fell off I can build some shelves in there while I'm waiting for that to dry because I want to start moving stuff <clears throat> from the camper out here but I am close I am hoping Today is Friday. I'm hoping by Monday or Tuesday to be moving in here. That's what I'm hoping. All right. Be back in a minute. Mudded all the way up. Also top, underneath, on this side. And I'll let that dry real thick. <laughs> So it's going to take a while to dry, got the fan on it. But in the meantime, coming over here into my unfinished pantry. <laughs> and I got some blocking built. I'm going to put four shelves coming all the way up to the front. And then one shelf probably from right here back up on top. So... Yeah, this won't be too interesting building this, but I'll bring you all along with, and I got a nice little fire going in the wood stove. Man, this thing, I tell you what, when you shut that door, that flame just trickles right down to a real slow burn, and it just burns forever. I, before I went to bed, I threw a log on there. I went to bed like at 10, 30, or 11. Threw a log on there probably twice the size of that and when I woke up this morning it was still in there burning but it was smoldering and it was nice and warm in here and it's nice in here now outside is a beautiful day but it's like 38 degrees well it might be warmer than that now actually it feels real good in the sun so some point I want to clean this mess up. I want to get that split and put on that pallet. I want to get that taken down and all the rocks moved and it cleaned up and put that junk away before 
we get snow. Oh, look at this. All right, I don't know if you see it or not. I got 10 foot section of antenna left from my tower build. It's got my star link on it and the weather station on it. Thinking I'm gonna take that thing and just dig a little one foot hole out there, bury it in it, right over, right over there somewhere, over by it, stand it up and then I'll put one foot marks on it, every foot up. Actually, I think every step is a foot. I'll put marks on it. That way, you can see how much snow we get. <laughs> That'd be cool. All right. Man, it's beautiful in here. It is nice and toasty. I'm liking it. That wood stove is amazing. All right, let's get busy building this thing. All right, I got one shelf in. That's my short one. And then I got one, two, three, I got four more to build or to cut. And I'll put a little scab behind it right here on each one to keep them from bowing. And that'll be my temporary pantry. All right, go down to the basement. We'll cut some more. All right, I need four of them at 24 by 26 and a half. And I got this piece. I get one out of that. I'm probably getting two out of this. And it's just 24. It's 20. Hmm. All right, I'll make them 20 then. And then I got this piece over here that I can use. Yes. All right, so I got enough scrap wood laying around. So let's cut some of these up.
All right, I got four shelves up. So I don't have enough plywood to do that. I got one sheet down there I don't want to cut into. So I'm gonna have to go out and find some scab pieces. Like this one's two pieces. But I think it'll be all right. They're just sitting in there. And every time I come out from the camper, bring some stuff out here and put it in here. It's getting close, people. It's getting close for me to move in. How's this looking? Oh yeah, drying quick. That looks all dry. Yep, once that gets dry, I'll give it a sanding. And uh, I can spray some texture in there. So, <laughs> I got so much to do, but these projects are just like, there are a lot of little ones like this. And I'm trying to knock them off my list. So what do I do next? Hmm. I know what I need to do. I need to get a count on how much drywall I need for this ceiling and that ceiling because I kind of want to get that up. I don't know if I told you what I'm doing in here. So I'm putting drywall comes in four by eight sheets and I'm going to run them this way. So I'll start with one up here. I'll run it down this way and wherever it stops, it stops and do that all the way down. That way I only got one seam down here somewhere that I have to tape. Where they butt up, four foot out, there'll be a seam, four foot out, there'll be a seam. Where that seam is, I'm putting a one by three board across it, just to give it a little bit of character up there so I don't have a plain white ceiling if I paint it white whatever color I'm going to paint it. Um, and that wood up there will be the same wood I'm putting on this wall. Be the same trim around all the windows, doors, baseboard, everything. It's all going to be the same kind of wood. It's cedar. It's going to be milled. Or I'll say milled. It's going to be run through the planer and then run through the joiner. Get it all nice and smooth. That's the cedar right there that I have for it. Get it all the same thickness, all the same width, and then I'm going to burn it like I did that. Now that was done with just a hand torch. This is just a little temporary thing that I wanted to build to see if I like it. But I have a weed burner, which burns it way more even. And then I just hit it real lightly with sandpaper, and I took my router and did just a little joint on it. But I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to leave them 90 degree angles. But I like that look. It looks good. And that is what I'm putting on the wall behind the wood stove. Let me go back up here and show you. So this whole wall is getting that. This whole wall is getting that kind of wood and that whole wall in the bedroom is getting that kind of wood. And then where this, all the baseboard, all the trim around the windows, everything is gonna be that kind of burnt wood. And that's what I wanna put up on the long seams. So every four feet, there'll be one of those. And I think that'll take the plainness, the boringness, whatever you want to call it. I think I'll dress it up and make it look good. That's a winter project. All that stuff I'll be doing when there's four feet of snow out here and it's miserably cold. Because right now, it's a little chilly. feels good though. Got a nice breeze. What a beautiful day. Holy crap. And we're at the end of October. All right, so what to do next? I don't know. I'll figure it out. Be back in a minute.
battery's almost dead. <laughs> All right, so I'm trying to do a little odd jobs here and there, but I've had these smoke detectors for quite a while. I got three in the basement. I got one right there in the bedroom. I got one way up there in the living room, which I'm probably gonna regret putting up because probably every time I open that up and the smoke goes up, it'll set it off. And I got one in my closet. All right. And I got one back here in my future storage room. I'm not sure what I'm doing in here yet, but I got one up in there. I didn't cut a door in here yet because I'm not sure where my shelves are gonna go in here. I don't know if I wanna put the door on that side, that side, or in the middle. I don't know yet. So, I probably should've just left that open. Well, too late now. Anyways, so, like I said, I'm trying to kill small projects while this dries, which is taking forever. It's taking forever to dry. But it's getting there. I probably won't be dry till tomorrow. So, I'm gonna do these little small projects. And I don't know if y'all know, but I picked up a bedroom set, five piece bedroom set. I think I paid like 400 bucks for it. It's actually nice. Um, the mattress, I was gonna get rid of it, but there's no stains on it. If you go way back and watch that video, when we picked it up, there's no stains on it. And it's actually in good shape. And I hit it with a mixture of bleach and water just in case. So that's part of it. <laughs> but I got that dresser, that little nightstand, this dresser. I don't even know what's in here. Oh, shelves. Never even opened it before. But it's dirty because I had to do that, which came out like crap. But I had to get something up in the attic hole. A ah, bunch of, a lot of little projects. And this fire is, I mean, it's beautiful. You know, right now, it's a perfect temperature. What do we got in here? Just a little bit smoldering. So I'll leave that until tonight because it's going to get down in the 20s tonight. It's supposed to be below freezing. And I'll probably sleep in here again. I slept in here last night. Felt great. I love it. Okay. Hey, there's an SD card right on my bed. So let's get busy putting these smoke detectors up.
Smoke detectors are done with the exception. All right, that drywall mud is taking forever to dry. Even with a fan on it. I knew it would because it's real thick. So I got the smoke detectors done. I got to pick up another one next time I go to Lowe's. But I got two odd jobs I can do real quick. Well, not real quick, but I can do right now. And one of them is I'm going to finish up this mailbox. This thing should be, oh yeah, it's rock solid. Uh, yeah, the pipe is in, uh, there's a chain for it. I'm gonna have to cut that, I think. I think the pipe is in the barn. Let me go see. I'm just wondering if that's too far out. I should cut it. I think I will. All right. So I need to drill some holes.
crazy. That's what they do. All right. Waiting on this drywall mug to dry. Killing me for time. Ah. It's hopefully be dry by morning. So I ran some wire out to the barn. It's down in the basement. I ain't worried about hooking it up yet. I'm gonna go shut the barn. So now I'll have Tricity out there because at nighttime in that woodshed, it's pitch black. I want to get a couple of those lights that I had down in the basement. I put three of them up in there with a light switch and a plug out there. And then I have a plug and a light in the barn that I hooked up when I first got here. So I'll take care of that. I foam filled these holes, my chases. They're all full of foam. They'll be squirting out here in a little bit. I can see the one on the right expanding. <laughs> and got the mailbox done. Oh, what else did I do? Can't remember. Let's see if they filled this tank yet. Nope. Said they're gonna come in a day or two to fill it. So, it's actually kind of nice out. I think what I'm gonna do is get the wheelbarrow. I'm going to walk around and collect some of these rocks that I want to use for the rest of my fireplace hearth. That way, in the middle of winter, if I run out of something to do, I can tinker with that project. Hmm. There's a dead birch tree I should cut down. Oh, well. All right, so that's probably going to be it for today. Just not a lot going on with waiting for the mud to dry quarter after three but it's supposed to get cold tonight it's supposed to get down in the high 20s that'd be nice and then tomorrow i think is saturday yes saturday maybe sunday one of these days i gotta run back up to lowe's got a whole list of stuff to get um and i want to pick up my paint while i'm there for the bathroom so, yeah, that's a dead birch. It's got to come down. There's two apples left on that apple tree. <laughs> They're both red. All right. Man, it's beautiful out. It's like 90 degrees inside the house from the fire that I had last night. That house is just holding the heat. So that's going to be great. All right. That's going to be it for today. Thanks for following along on my journey here building. Thanks for subscribing. Thumbs up, like, all that good stuff. And we'll be right back here tomorrow doing more sanding and more drywall work. I'll be glad that bathroom's done. I was hoping to be done with it by Sunday, but I don't think that's going to happen. See you, bye.